A rare look inside an Arizona state prison in Kagan was the only Tucson station with access. A new maximum security facility at the Lewis Prison Complex in Buckeye will soon house hundreds of the most violent criminals. Before it opens, though, Nine Year Science Christina Myers got a tour. She takes us inside. The $50 million addition is meant to help with overcrowding, not only just here at the Lewis Prison Complex, but also across the Arizona Department of Corrections. Soon, 500 maximum security inmates will be housed here, transferred from other complexes. More and more people each year are locked up in Arizona state prisons. Opening 500 new beds will help shift some inmates and ease overcrowding. It's certainly could contribute to stress, but the strategy that we have taken, particularly with those dormitory and low custody units, is we opened up the yards to allow them out of their dormitories for longer periods of time during the day. That's also a strategy at this new maximum security facility. Get the guys out of their cells for as much time as possible. The goal, 15 to 20 hours a day. They fill their time with classes, jobs, and recreational time. But that also means added security. This is going to be enclosed because we're dealing with the max custody. Unlike the other side that you guys have taken some photos of, how it's very open, this one is a little bit more secured because of the maximum security level. Every door in the new unit only opens from here, the control room. Because of the design, the officer in charge can see every single cell. I can see upstairs and downstairs exactly what's going on. So it's for the safety and security for staff and inmates. The first inmates will be transferred to this new addition the first week of December. Nearly 50 are already ready to go right here from this complex. But then 325 others will be coming in from Florence in order to relieve some overcrowding there. Reporting from the Lewis Prison Complex in Buckeye, Christina Myers, KGA 9 on your side.